auto spacing and tethering in league is a very important concept for AD carries to understand and be able to do in their games. The idea of auto spacing and tethering relies on a very basic principle of league, which is that you're able to tell where your cursor is or where the enemy's cursor is based off which direction they're facing. For example, if I input an attack command, my character will face the enemy I am attacking. If I input a command up here, I will I will face upwards. If I'm facing this direction, it means I clicked somewhere along this line. So if we look at the dummy, we can see that the cursor, the arrow on the dummy, the direction it's facing, is this line right here, which means that the dummy or the champion at one point had clicked somewhere along that line or had issued an attack command on me. If we put a dummy behind this, facing the other direction, we can know that the dummy is now retreating and clicked somewhere along this line, right? So that's one of the basic principles that teaches us how to auto space and how to tether in league. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to auto space. So we've established that auto spacing relies on the direction that the character is facing and the clicks that they're inputting. The idea of auto spacing is that you're playing against a character which has a very similar range to you and you for example, let's say Tristana at level 1 has a range of 525, just as Kaisa does. We've marked out our auto range on Kaisa is about here, right? So essentially what we're going to do is be moving back and forth in and out of that range, threatening to come in an auto. And the moment that the Tristana turns, either turns around or inputs something perhaps here or here or maybe even backwards or onto a minion, the moment where she inputs something where her cursor moves away from me is the moment where I walk in and auto attack her and get a free auto on her. So that's the idea of auto spacing. It can also be done with a long range champion against Alistar. Alistar's W range is about 650, but since that's calculated center to center and not edge to edge like auto attacks are, it's pretty similar to Kaisa's auto range, it's about 50 range difference, right? But you can walk in and out of Alistar's W range, threatening him, and then walk up and auto him when he turns around, right? So that's a pretty good uh, example of how you can auto space. Uh, and the way that you want to practice this is essentially by being able to, uh, you know, look at Kaisa's auto max auto range or whichever character that you're playing. I like doing this with Hailblades Blades because it makes it much more challenging. And looking at the DPS of you just autoing them over the course of, let's say, 10 or 15 seconds, seeing that that DPS is about 85 or whatever it may be, hops up to 92. Right, so we can basically see the DPS pattern. And essentially what you want to do is match that DPS as best as you can just by doing auto spacing, right? And you can see I auto cancel there. I have been gone from the game for a week, so don't blame me. Just figured I'd also include this because this is one of the most famous auto spacing examples. It's uh, Deft on Zaya and Viper on Kaisa. Both of them have 525 range, and I'll just let the clip speak for itself. It's really funny, I think. As you can see there, they kind of got stuck in a little dance uh, where both of them were walking back and forth, the Kaisa not wanting to tank a turret shot. And uh, it resulted in Deft just getting free autos onto the Kaisa. Just wanted to show a quick example of Jackie Love auto spacing LWX Kaisa versus Zaya at around a level, level 5. And basically, this play is possible because this wave is slow pushing in. Udir has shown to be bot side right there on the mini map. You can look as well. And so LWX is kind of scared and needs to be careful because Jackie Love is going to contest every CS, right, by auto spacing. And so we're going to see this CS gets low and LWX opts to use Q to do it. And the moment that LWX uses his Zaya Q to last hit this minion, it means that now he can no longer trade effectively into the Kai'Sa. And so now we see these three CS here getting low and Jackie Love knows this. So he's spacing to go uh, onto LWX and punishing him for being in XP range. And you could see the little auto spacing dance he did there. And he's going to eventually continue to do this. Uh, something that a lot of players do 
is avoid using single target abilities. So you'll see the next time Jackie Love walks up, he avoids casting his auto because if he auto attacks, he's gonna pull the minions closer and actually take minion aggro. So you can see that he's auto spacing here, more like Q spacing, tethering the Zaya, and making it hard for her to see us. And you can see that this situation here where Jackie Love manages to get some poke onto LWX to the point where LWX doesn't feel safe to stay in lane anymore out of fear of the Leona engage, transfers into a free mountain dragon for Udyr. And this is a great example of auto spacing and how just one tiny thing can go so far.